I'd say it's going to take years to rebuild and to come back to. Just seeing dead bodies on the oh, dead bodies on the rocks on the beach, bodies in the in the car. There was a kid underneath the, a car on Front Street. Looked like his dad was trying to protect him, but they just was burnt. Pets, cats, dogs, just all f burnt right in the middle of the road. And then before the fire even got to this side, there were people running towards our house. Like their hair looked like it just got burnt, their face was all black. And then they're just, they're just all just sweat running towards us. I got an auntie and an uncle, a family of four. Their daughter and their grandson, seven years old, they were caught in the fire down there. They were trying to get away, but a they were in the car. I guess the telephone just fell in their car and they couldn't, they just stuck inside, they got burned. Here's my house, everybody. Yeah. It's our home. We've lived here 30 years. Our kids were born here. We just don't know the next steps. It's like a bomb went off. It's it's the end of every of all of it. It's gone. It's it's gone. It's so weird. We're just camping it out of here, like just waiting for them to give us the okay to go back in and help clean up, you know, just do whatever we can. So you know, uh, I've been here um, like five something in the morning. I had to wake up my family and whatnot because uh, we needed. I need this placard because I work at Kapalua at Chun Golf, and uh, you know I gotta get to work and stuff. But um, I don't know how things gonna be because we don't have no housing or whatnot. So we just hope for the best. Yeah. Uh, very important because you know we gotta get back to Lahaina. That's where we're from and born and raised. You know what I mean? And just gotta get back to work so I can support my family, you know? And just losing our house, our car. I got a rental car right here, but I can't have it for, the, you know, for a long period. I'm gonna have to give this back in 24 days. And I, I don't got nothing left. We need help. What are we gonna do? Set up tents on the beach? Set up tents at the, our job sites? Well, please help us, you know? We need help.
Our temple is, um, you know, is a historical site and we do have some things that I saw that are made out of metal and stone um, that are still remaining and I just want to make sure that we are able to secure those things and we've already dealt with so much heartache. It's just like to have to deal with more heartache on top of that. It's just, you know, I would like to be able to like secure the, like the things that are left. Right now, they're still searching for people. There's gas lines that are they're, they're, it's unsafe. So as soon as they clear, and there's there's a process. I know it's frustrating because you're not being let in. There's lines to get in, and some areas you can't get into because it's unsafe. So there's bulldozers that are going in and clearing the roads first. Then they're checking for other hazards. They're checking for bodies, and it's it's a process. It's very frustrating because it seems when you're not there like nothing's happening. At about 4 or 4.30 in the afternoon on August 8th, I saw a huge black plume of smoke out of my bedroom window. Just, I happened to look out of my bedroom window and see it. I immediately told my roommates, hey, this looks pretty serious. Um, and we've been having 50 mile an hour winds with 90 mile an hour gusts all day. We've had severe drought conditions. No rain was happening that day. So I was concerned. Um, I immediately warned my roommates and said, we should, we should start thinking about going. Within 10 or 15 minutes, we had to be in our cars peeling out of our driveways because the entire um, sky was covered in black smoke and there were down power lines, down trees everywhere. I did not receive a warning until I was already getting in my truck to get out of there. Um, not a single one of my roommates got a warning at all. We got, you know, the only, the notice we had was just screaming from the streets.
to recreation if we have to completely do um, I pulled out of my driveway and tried to get on the one road that leads out of Lahaina, and there was already thousands of cars in front of me. Um, mm -hmm. It was standstill traffic. In my rearview mirror, you could see fire crossing the road, potentially affecting people and cars in that line. I didn't see people running yet, but I'm sure they did. I have a lifted four-wheel drive truck, so I just started going whichever way I could to get out. Um, and it took us about three hours to get to um, the center of the island, which should be about a 25, 30 minute drive. My house is completely flattened and leveled onto the ground. There's, there's nothing left of my house or my business. There's nothing left of my neighborhood. There's nothing left for my community and my friends. Um, I have dozens of friends who are missing and possibly dead. Um, and it's, it's pretty scary.